Hi there, in this video, we will go through the step to use Microsoft Excel and Intelligent Reporting for hitting value or calorific values calculations. Stay tuned. Hi, welcome back. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Peter Kron, and if you want to learn more about Open Lab Intelligent Reporting, GC troubleshooting skills, GC operation skills, Hit the subscribe button now and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. In this video, we will have two different parts. In part one, we will be using Microsoft Excel to perform the calculation. In part two, we will be using intelligent reporting to automate the process. Okay, so let's first look at the formulas, how calorific values are calculated. Calorific values basically come in three different basics, whether it's more percent, a small basics, mass basic, or volume basics. Okay, in, for more basics, the formula is pretty simple that it is the total of the more fraction times the calorific values of every single component. There's one thing I need to note for you here is this value over here is calorific values of component modes. It usually you can find from Google, but I would recommend you to look for those numbers in the ISO, GPA, or ACM method. Okay. And when you trace for this number, you will see that they provide uh, and the values in different temperatures. So you make sure that you, you pick the correct numbers with the correct temperature that you want to perform your calculation. Okay. For mass basics, it will be using the, the number for the more basic divided by the molar mass of the mixture. I will show you step by step how to do all of this uh, in Excel in a second. Okay. For volume basics, it will not only temperature dependence, but also pressure dependence. So we need to de declare what pressure we want to perform the calculation in this. Uh, in either Excel or intelligent reporting. Okay, okay. So that's the basic formula for that. We need. We, we re refer back to this later on when we do the Excel. Okay. So let's jump right into Excel and start the calculation of this. All right. So here's the Excel spreadsheet that I have prepared. So you need to key in a couple of things over here to perform the calculation. Okay. The first column we need to have is a normalized mole percent. For this column, the GC will generate the number for you. So that's uh, I'm going to copy the number uh, so that uh, these are the numbers that I'm going to use. Okay. And then the more fraction is basically, it's just this value because they are renormalized. So this value minus uh, divided by 100. There you go. Then I'm going to write them down. And just to verify everything, I've got a sum over here to confirm that this value should be 100%. And I'm going to copy this. And this value should be one. Okay, everything should add up to one. Okay, molar mass is uh, the reason why you need molar mass is if you look back this one, you have a molar mass of the single components right here. So let's go back there. For molar mass, you can easily find from Google or you can go to any uh, standard method to look for them. So for, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to copy so to save time. Okay, I'm going to copy molar mass over here. Uh, so calorific values, as you see here, I will state 25 degrees and uh, you will have both superior and inferior. So make sure you copy both of them or if you want to calculate only one of them, just, just simply copy whatever you need from the uh, each method. Okay, I put them here. Okay, so first let, let's do the uh, more basic first. Okay, the first uh, column you need to do calculation is basically just a more fraction over here multiply with this super value, superior calorific value over here. Okay, so that should be this. Multiply with this one. There you go. Write it down. Will be the same thing for this one, just superior or inferior here. Okay, so this will be this time, this one. Okay, then you write them down like this. And the sum of this, There you go, and then you have another one here, some over here. Okay, so that's how you perform the calculation for uh, superior calorie value uh, of, of your mixture based on more. Okay, and this one is the inferior calorie value based on more as well. Okay, you have two different values here. So you see, even the formula looks very complicated here, but the calculation is really, really simple. Okay. Then let's, let's move on to the next step uh, for the mass basics. Okay, for the mass basic, you need to calculate something called mole fraction times the molar mass over here. So that would be 
more fraction time molar mass right here rack it out okay and then I'm gonna put a sum over here oh, sorry the sum of this because you need this number for the calculation okay so once you have all this so let's complete the table down below here more basics superior calorific calorific values is which is this one okay inter inferior calorific values which is this one okay for more basics mass basic that basically just this uh, more basic values divided by this number okay there you go and then the same thing for this one it will be inferior values divided by the uh, molar mass right here okay there you go number then for the volume basic you need to have uh, you need to declare the pressure and the temperature that you want to perform a calculation. Okay. So take note of the, of the pressure of the units over here. So make sure you put in the correct one. Okay. So most of the time we perform a calculation at one atmosphere. So that's basically mean I think it's 101.325 kPa. And the temperature is up to you. So usually we perform at 25 C. So let's put 25 in. Okay. So the formula over here, so let's look at Look, look back at this one, you see it will be CV of the mixture by mole times P divided by RT. Okay, so let's go back to this. So that will be CV of by mole times the pressure which is here divided by the temperature. And remember the temperature here is in Kelvin, it's not in C. So you need to add 273.15 and plus the temperature over here to convert this into Kel Kelvin and then divide by the constant the uh, more the uh, gas constant value which is eight point uh let, let me look back to one eight point three one four five one okay three one four five one there you go so you get this number here it, it will be the same thing for this column as well so this will be this number time the pressure over here divided by the temperature in kelvin which is two seven three point one five plus uh, temperature here and divide by the uh, gas constant 31451 okay there you go so that's how you perform a calculation in Excel or everything of this you can you can finish some which in a few minutes only okay but and you see what you need to have all for all of this calculation to take place is basically just a normal line more percent from here okay so uh, in the next step in the next step we are going to use uh, for perform the same calculation again but we'll be using intelligent reporting to automate the process where you don't need to key in all this number um normally more percent anymore so whenever you load a new data the new report of calorific values will be calculated automatically hi welcome back to part two uh, where we will be using intelligent report to generate the same report that we did just now in part one using Excel. Okay, so if you look back at this uh, Excel spreadsheet, that these three columns, molar mass, superior calorific values, inferior calorific values, are the three columns that we need to have in order for the calculation to take place. So, in another means, uh, we need to save this value into our chem station, right? And for the purpose of this video, I'm going to assume these two values are going to be uh, constant. We are not going to change this value. So, so most of the time, people will just want to calculate the, uh, the calorific values at one atmosphere and 25 Cs. So, so we just keep these two constant. Okay. All right. So in order to, to save these three columns into game station, uh, we need to do two steps before we can uh, get into that. So the first thing I want you to do is uh, I need you to create something like something like this on your screen right now. You create a test file, TSD file, it's named calorific values, something like this. And in this file, you will have uh, name, semicolon, then superior, CV, calorific values, then inferiors and molar mass. And then you have your name over here, let's say head sense. Then you have values, everything is separated by a semicolon here. So let's look at here. You have head sense and more uh, the first one is superior cv that is 4194.95 there you go and then semicolon and and then inferior values and then more uh, semicolon again then molar mass and it's the same thing for all others compound right you got it 
Okay, so once this is done, you can close this one and you want to save this one to a desktop. Okay, make sure you save this to desktop because this is we need to know where we are going to call this file out later on when we import the data. Okay, so make sure you save this to desktop over there. I'm going to overwrite my old file. Okay, so once you save it, you are okay to cancel it to close it. Okay, the next thing I want you to do is to copy this code over here. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see everything here. Yeah, that, that looks good. Okay, so what you need to do is you copy this whole code uh, uh, into a game station. I will show you how to do that one. But basically, this is uh, some kind of VBA code that I have prepared. Uh, the first part on top here is where the data, uh, the file just now we created, the calorific values, uh, where, where's the link of that file is. Okay, if you save somewhere else, you make sure you update this one. Okay. Yeah. The, the rest of the code over here is basically just to save the parameters just now, the calorific values, superior, inferior, and, and uh, molecular weights into these three variables. So we have three functions out here. We have calorific values, superior, and then calorific value, inferior, and molecular weight. So later on, we'll be able to use this function to call out the numbers that we have uh, saved in this file just now. Okay, so for your convenience, I'm going to copy the, all of this course uh, into the description below so that you can copy them easier for your uh, practice or your or for your calculation. All right, so that's a, those are the two steps that yeah, I need you to do. So I have done step one that I created this file and same desktop. So I'm going to do step number two right now. Okay, so that will be, I'm going to go into this uh, game station. And this is the data that I'm going to use. Okay, so what, what I'm going to do, I go to report layout. Okay. Okay, then we better make a new uh, template, new report templates. Okay, and if you look at this one, we have quite a few of uh, columns to show up over here. So I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose a landscape. Uh, orientation over here say okay there you go and on top here i'm not going to show you how to change this anymore so you, I, I think you know how to do this one so i will for the purpose of this video i will just show you the calculation in this uh, area over here okay so before we start to build our table we need to copy the course over then the code i i, I will already save them here so i'm going to copy everything then i go back to this one okay then you go to edit, then you go to report properties. Okay, and then you copy everything over. Okay, so everything will appear here. Make sure you go to the code over here and then copy everything over. Okay, so then you click OK. That's it. So we better save this uh, as something. Okay, I'm going to put uh, calorific value. Okay, so Okay, so you have the code safe over there. Then uh, let me show you how to call out those uh, three variables that we just saved. Uh, okay, so you go to tables here, then pick some compounds, expand it, and then you choose compound results from here, bring it over. Okay, then select the table, go to properties. Okay, then uh, I'm going to remove all of these columns so that it will be easier for uh, for us to demonstrate okay okay so we have three different columns which is uh, you know calorific value superior inferior and uh, molecular weight so I'm gonna add three columns in one two three okay the first column okay I'll change the name of this one I will put this one as uh, uh, say molecular weight something like this let's say okay and then in the function what you need to do, you go to custom code here. You will see those three functions that are over here. Okay, so this one molecular weight. I'm going to click this one and double click on it. It will show up on here. Then in the bracket, you put compound name as so over here. Okay, just put compound name. All right. Okay, just click OK and then go to the next column. And for this one, we will be choosing that superior. Uh, CV okay then the function right here custom code again and then this one is superior here 
double click and then you select it then you say compound name there you go okay the last column will be uh, inferior CV okay and then here custom code again CV inferior okay and compound name right there you go okay so let's let look at the report how does it look or see whether the data are imported correctly or not okay so you see molecular weight uh, like 86.1754 does matching the number that we have just now and then superior calorific values over here let me go back to this one and show you okay molar mass of NSN 86.1754 there you go and then superior value of NSN is 4194.95 4194.95 okay so that's how you uh, should go import the data into CAMSATION okay so once you imported everything it will be very easy for you to perform any calculation that you you like to do okay so so next step let's start to uh, build our real uh, table based on the, the one that we did on the Excel here okay so the first column we have a name then we have more fraction we need to have a more fraction here so let me make a new column for that purpose okay okay and then we have uh, so again I'm going to remove everything okay so we need to have the first column which is uh, more fraction okay so this will be more fraction okay and for the formula of more fraction we know uh, let me let me show you back one more time so more fraction is normalized more percent divided by 100 okay but normalized more percent we don't have it right now so what we need to do we need to take we need to create that normal and more percent first okay so i'm going to say okay first and close this table and move it down okay we need to have a uh, normal line more percent in inner order to do that we need to create something called okay let me bring out one more table okay okay i'm going to remove this column this column this column this column i'll just keep one column over here then column properties so this one for this column, I will name it unnormalized uh, more percent. Okay. So what does it mean by unnormalized more percent is uh, this value are so called like a raw concentration. They have not been normalized to 100% yet. And the formula over here is, I, I would prefer to use peak area time compound response factor. I don't quite like to use uh, compound multi uh, compound uh, amount because sometimes your compound multipliers are not are not uh, like the value is not one so so that we give you a wrong uh, number over here so compound response factor here so that's the way okay and then I'm going to sum off this value okay and then we we'll save this one as no unnormalized uh, un, unnorm more percent something like this okay say okay say okay so what does it do is basically let me show you a report review okay this is the first table just now what does it do for this table is you perform the calculation for me unnormalized okay and then I get 99.93, which is close to 100%, but I need to normalize back to 100%, right? So that's, that's uh, the idea. Okay, so I can create one more column over here. Uh, no, let's let go to this more fraction, okay? Okay, so let's go back to more fraction here and go back to value, the value over here. So more fraction, again, we, we look at this formula is normalized more percent divided by 100, right? But normalized more percent, what does it mean? It's basically, it's just peak area. Uh, peak area time compound response factor. 
and that will give compound amount but unnormalized so you need to time 100 and divide by this uh, the total unknown just now that we save okay so this will give you the normalized uh, more percent right and then uh, you divide by 100 so over here you have 100 here so I'm going to remove this one so so this is this will give you more fraction right let's say okay and then for this more fraction we want to have uh, let me go down to this again we want to have the total here so we I, I go to summary calculation and click sum and I change the label to total right so that's how we have this first column okay so let's look at whether it's correct right now There you go. So you have this normalized as one right now. Yeah, more fraction to one. Okay. Okay. So once you're happy with that one, so this column we are not going to use anymore. What I'm going to do, I will be uh, uncheck this visible box so to grade it out. Something like this because we don't want to show this in our report, right? Okay. Let me move this thing a little bit. Okay. Something like this. So that's it, the first column. Let's go back to this and see the second column is called molar mass. Okay, molar mass. So let's go here. And then we move one more column over. And then we'll change this one, molar mass. I'm going to change this one to molar mass. Okay, say okay. And the function, as I showed you just now, that will be under custom code just now, molar mass right here. Double click on it. And then you type compound name right here. Right, okay. Say okay. And that is your molar mass, right? Next column is superior calorific values. Okay. And one more column. I say column properties again. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna put them like in a short form. So that okay, CV something like this. We know it's 25 degrees, so, so I, I'm going to put them like this one, okay? And then the value is basically down here, superior, right here, and compound name. Okay. Then say okay. Say okay. Then the next column we need to have is inferior. Okay. Then we, we add one more column. So there you go. Then we will have inferior, inferior, CV again, type for here, okay. And then you go to value, that's under custom code again, that will be inferior over here, compound name. All right, so that's how you have the, the this uh, inferior column. Then we have more fraction times superior, uh, Hitting value down here, that will be the next column. Okay, we have one more column here. Okay, I'm going to name this one as more fraction time superior CV, right? Okay, and then that way, more fraction, what you can do, you can go back to the more fraction first one just now and you copy over the formula so that would be uh, easier for us so I'm going to copy this one it's a more fraction and then I will just go back to that column down there there you go so I copy over so this is my more fraction I want to multiply it my uh, superior value okay compound name there you go say okay and for this one i want to have a sum of it i want to click the sum over here okay and uh, there's one more thing we need to do is we need this value to perform the calculation for the mass and volume basis so we need to save this variable uh, as uh, with a with a name right so i'm going to save this one as a name over here it's a variable name over here i can put this one as more cv something like this should I know which one? Okay. And then we have, this is a more fraction. Okay, then we need to have one more column that will be, 
go this one call the properties again so this will be the same more fraction um inferior cv right say okay and the value again i'm going to copy that uh, uh more fraction here and then time that we went the custom code is inferior cv here and we put compound name in this box okay once you have that say okay and again the same thing we need to have a sum and we want to save this variable as well okay we go to summary calculation and then we click the sum button and then we save this one as uh, uh, inferior cv inferior cv i don't know why i saved the one just now but anyway we, we know what it is inferior cv uh, okay say okay and then we need one more column it's more fraction time more or mass right so we go back here we need one more column okay and we move everything over okay value this one will be uh, more fraction time molar mass okay let's say okay fx now here and then more fraction that will be again I, i'm going to copy that one just now and then we time mol molar mass that will be under this right here molecular weight right compound name okay let me say okay and the same thing we need to have this uh sum over here and we need this value for the calculation down here so we need to save this one as a variable as well so i'm going to go to summary calculations sum then i put this one as uh, okay let's put this average average molecular weight okay let's say okay okay so that's basically everything of these columns that we have done so let's look at uh, whether they are okay right now whether we have any errors somewhere okay let me move this one a little bit further here and then move the column a little bit further down here more fraction okay Let's look at it. Okay, and down here, and you look at this, it's more fraction, and then you have molar mass, then you have super CV, inferior CV, then more fraction, times that one, everything over here, and then you have on the sum right here. So that looks pretty cool, okay? Okay, so that's this, the first table that we have done over here. So now let's let's create this kind of uh, table here, which is of our final res result. Okay, let's go back to this. And before I do that, I'm going to delete this call this table here. Okay. This is just a demonstration, just I show you from the beginning. Okay, and I'm going to move this this table up there. Okay, all right. So so let's create this one. So in order to create it, this is not a table anymore. So in order to create that one, I'm going to go into fields and or you yeah you can pick fields over here then you can pick any of these because we are going to change we are going to change their formulas anyway so just pick any of these and let's see how many do we need so we need one uh two three and four five so we need five of them right okay so this is one two three four five right okay so every field we have the label and they have the value that we have here the label here and we have the value here all right so let, let's try to do this one first and uh, so this one is called more basic kizun for more so i'm going to change this one and you can just double click and you can type a new name more basic and that will be kizun for more right here and uh, this may not be enough not enough space over here what you can do you can move this one over 
then you expand the H1 a little bit further. Okay. Something like this. Okay, for the value of this one, okay, double click on that one. Then you go to the label. So when the chest now we change to more basic, then you go to value and you have you will have the function over here. And let's look at this one for one second. Okay, this is the value that we save on top here, right? So that could be under variables here that we have saved a couple of them here. So I think we save that one as more CV, right? Okay, we just say okay from here. Then you have it. There you go. There's a value there. And then the next one we will have is, let me right click this one. And the label, and label will be uh, mass basics. And the unit is mega zoom per kg. Right. And under value, you can change the formulas. Okay, let me remove this one and let's go back to this one. So the formula for this one is this value here, the more basic divided by this uh, more fraction. So that would be more basics, which is more CV here, and divide by the average molecular weight here, right? There you go. Get it. There you go. And then you may also want to move want to move this one so that will be nicer. Okay. So there you have you have one more. This will be volume basics and the unit is milligram joule per cubic meter, right? Okay, you want to move this one as well. Move it over. Alright, right click on it to change the value of it. But the value function, okay. Okay, so as I say just now, we are going to fix these two numbers. So we're not going to change this number in. Okay, so that will be the formula will be, uh, you go to variable just now that will be the most cv time the uh, pressure which is 101.325 just correct yeah one or 1 1.325 time out divide by the temperature which is 27315 plus 25 degrees c okay then divide by the uh, gas constant which is 8. Uh, let me take a look. 8.31451. Okay, so there you have this uh, value for this. Then you say OK. There you have. Okay, so you have these three. And what you can do is you can also align this. So select all of them. Uh, select all of them like this and right click. Then you can choose a vertical spacing. Uh, I'll make this uh, align to the left so that everything will be aligned like this. Okay, and then you want to move this one a little bit. Okay, so that could be like that. Okay, let's look at the result first. Okay, so there you have the numbers around there. All right, the next item we're going to change is the pressure here. And I go to properties. Go to label I uh, put pressure here and the unit is kPa and the value that we have fixed number which is 101.325 kPa say okay for the next one will be a temperature label here I uh, put this one temp Ratio that will be C and the value that will be 25. 25, say okay. There you go. So you have all of this, and then I'm going to arrange this a little bit nicer here, something like this. Okay, 
and let's go back to this one so you have another three values over here let me add them so those three are very similar to this so i'm going to copy off this over okay copy this one that paste move this one down here yeah we copy this one and paste will be here I'm gonna move this this okay then the last one will be this one paste again will be here okay for this three we just need the values we don't need any label so I'm going to remove the label by going to properties okay the label here you can just remove everything leave it blank in the value it's not superior anymore but it's inferior so I'm going to remove it and choose inferior CV here say okay say okay there you go for this one right click again Okay, the label again, there's no thing. Then the value, you can put. It's not superior anymore. So that will be on the variable here in Ferro CV, all right? I say okay. And then the last one. Here, label again, there's no thing. Then the value you will have is the superior that will be inferior. You can type in as well if you want to. Okay, say okay. All right, so that's basically uh, all value that we have. If you want, you can move this a little bit uh, closer over here if you want to. Then I'm going to put another label uh, on top here. We say uh, super superior and then inferior okay then that would be text right here i'm gonna move them like this then you just write double click superior calorific value something like this All right and then i'm gonna copy this and i put this one here Okay, and then I'm going to change this one to inferior. Okay, so that looks pretty good. All right, so that's, uh, let, let look at the result, finally, that we have. Okay, so you have this table here. You have a more fraction of this, and we have all of this value down here, right? That's look pretty much the same as the one that we have for this using Excel. Okay, so that's basically everything. Wait, I, I think there's one thing I, I want to show you here. Is you may want to format your number to match the number of decimal places. Okay, you want to increase those number over there. You can go to this one, double click on that. And then under the value format, you can choose the way it's showing up. So right now it's, it doesn't show any decimal places. You can select this one. Let's say you want to choose to four. I will show you only one to save your time, but you can do the same thing for all of them, right? There you go. So this is the final report that you can have. Okay, so that's pretty much everything that we uh, need to do to generate this kind of report. And once you're happy with this, what you can do, you can save the template, then you go back to this. So let me show you the beauty of intelligent reporting. So once everything you have done, what you need to do is wherever you load a new data out, so let me load this data for example, then what you need to do, you just need to uh, assign the new template that we just created. So that was uh, calorific value or something right here. And we using this one. And if you, if you see like this, so then we, you just need to simply print the report. There you go. And you basically get everything in your calculation just now that you did. Or if you don't want this, you, you want another data, just simply go to that and print the report.
product will be much faster. All right. Okay. So that's basically uh, all I have for this video to show you how to calculate the heating values or calorific values using uh, both Excel and intelligent reporting. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, it's time for you to perform your own calculation. And if you have any difficulties to find out those uh, calorific values of individual compounds, let me know in the comment below. I will try to find out for, for you. Uh, and so if you like this video, give me a thumb up. If not, give me a thumb down and let me know how can I approve furthermore. And I hope you enjoy this and thank you for watching. I, I see you in the next video. Take care. Thank mm -hmm. you.